Okay, let's get started. So you're going to start by creating your first tint circle somewhere near the top of the page. You're going to be creating seven circles. You want to make sure though that by the time you get to your fourth circle, you are at least halfway down the page. So you can see here I'm making my uh, circles quite large because I don't want my shades to be uh, too high up or else it'll be too dark too fast. Now you're working in pairs. You've got three whites and you've got three of your chosen primary or secondary color. You're going to use your spoon to drop a little bit of whatever your primary or secondary is, then a little bit more, and then a little bit more. So you're creating your lightest tint, your medium tint, and your darkest tint. Then you're going to use your brushes to go ahead and mix your paint. Now you can continue adding more of your color to your white, but you can't add any more white. So you may want to start by only adding a little bit at a time. However, you don't want it to be too light because it will be a, a weird transition from one tint to the next and then to the original color. So just make sure that your darkest tint is not as dark as your pure hue. As long as it's not as dark as your pure hue, you're fine. So you can see here at this point I realized that my darkest tint looks very similar to my medium tint. So I didn't quite have enough uh, pure purple paint left, so I've had to pour in some uh, additional purple paint. If you need that, uh, go ahead and let me know. Please do not pour it yourself. I will be happy to pour it for you. All right, now that I've got my three different tints, it's time to start applying them to my background paper. So go ahead and get your background paper. You do not need to wash your brush. Your brush currently has tints on it, so they won't be contaminating anything. Go ahead and apply your first tint, followed by your second tint in the next circle, and then your third tint. Now you may want to apply a couple extra coats because the white behind it will make it look a little lighter than the original color that you mixed. Now you need to wash your brush. Do not dip your brush into your pure hue as you will contaminate that hue. Wash your brush and then return with that clean brush and apply your hue into the fourth section. Again, this is a pure hue. It has no tint, no shade. It is just a pure hue. Now you can see here because the paper is white, um, my pure hue is looking actually a little bit like a tint. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a couple coats so that it looks like the original pure color. Alright, so I've got my four sections filled in, three tints and my pure color. Now it's time to start creating my shades. Now if you've chosen a lighter color like yellow or orange, you're only going to need to add a teeny tiny little bit of black to each of your pure hues in order to create your shades. But I've chosen a darker color, purple, uh, so I'm going to need to be adding a little more black than uh, someone who might have chosen orange or yellow. Now you might find it a little bit difficult to see the difference between your three shades when they're in your palette. So if if you would like, you can uh, go ahead and grab a piece of scrap paper and just apply them onto that scrap paper so that you can see what they're going to look like before they actually hit your good copy. Once you're ready, you do not need to wash your brush. You go ahead and apply each of your three shades to the final three sections on your background paper. So now that you're done painting your background, you want to go ahead and look at some silhouette ideas. Now remember, you can draw your own silhouette freehand. That would be a fantastic idea. But if you feel like you need a little bit of help, you're going to go ahead and search for the silhouette you want. You're going to copy it and you're going to paste it into a Google Doc or Google Draw and then go ahead and print it out. You're then going to glue it onto uh, black construction paper and carefully cut it out flip it over and then glue it down onto your uh, background paper and um, that's it. 